What is going on, everyone? So, let me just say this very quickly. I'm not supposed to be on here right now because if you can recall from what the Bible says, it says, Thou shalt keep holy the Sabbath day, which means I'm not supposed to be working on Sunday. I'm not exactly good at breaking the rules. I am kind of, uh, well, uh, I'm kind of okay at bending them just a little bit, which means that maybe I can get away with Record in some other day, publishing on Sunday. I'm not saying that's what happened, but, you know, I plead the fifth. Anyhow, you're getting a video on Sunday. You best be very happy about it. You better be satisfied because this is what you're getting because you're subscribed to Top Ticker Trades. Now, that being said, if you're here right now and that uh, thumbs up button hadn't been smashed yet, you're a real jerk. You're a real a-hole. Do it right now. Because I don't like it when people come on here and watch these videos for free without paying. And by paying, I mean, like, you don't actually have to give me money. Just hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're a new watcher, a new viewer, well, go ahead, subscribe, and also hit that thumbs up button. Otherwise, like, you're cheating me. And when you're cheating me, you're cheating yourself. Anyhow, we're going to get right into this video. We're going to be talking about Ken Griffin because he's a real jerk off. So, Ken Griffin, who is the guy? Well, he's only the guy responsible for all of our misfortunes, right? It's not because he's lucky. It's not because he's handsome. I mean, after all, like, this guy is neither of the two that I just mentioned. Well, this guy is, is, uh, well, a billionaire. And he's got those billions of dollars because he stole from us the apes. It definitely makes me angry. What do you do? If you're part of an investigation, maybe you're not part of the investigation yet, but the police or the FBI, CA, uh, IRS, you know, whatever, should be looking at you, right? Well, I think, and, and I'm only getting this from watching, like, all these crime mysteries and everything and reading crime mystery novels. You interject yourself into the investigation and you point the finger at the uh, innocent man, or, well... You interject yourself into the investigation and you point your finger at anybody but yourself, right? You want to be as far away from this investigation as possible. So, the reason I bring this up, because you're probably like, well, why is he talking about this? Well, what, what happened? Like, did he, you know, like, what did he do? Listen, the reason I'm bringing this up is because Ken Griffin has come up in the news, like, very recently, like, as recently as today. Based on my observation, he's interjected himself into an investigation, and he said, hey, like, don't check us out, like, at all. Like, I don't know how much more obvious he could be by saying this, and when I read you guys this article, maybe you'll notice the same thing I'm noticing, maybe you won't. But he's like, hey, like, you stop looking at us, specifically me, and, like... Look over there, like, at those guys, because I think they're the ones, like, causing all this. As stupid as that sounds when I say it, it sounds even dumber when Ken Griffin says it. I don't want you to take my word for it, because I'm an unbiased party in this matter. So just listen to what Ken Griffin says. Make your own decision. Let me know in the comments, like, hey, am I right? Am I wrong? Am I going crazy? Or did I just buy this Arkansas hat for no reason to match it with my Maroon 5 shirt? Because, you know what? Ken Griffin takes his employees from Asia, or his Asian employees, you know, out there in Tokyo, to Walt Disney World, and they watch Maroon 5 together? A Maroon 5 concert is where he took him to. So in honor of that event, man, I bought me a Maroon shirt so I could wear it on my video and, like, kind of, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, inspire some other CEOs of other companies to also go watch Maroon 5. Uh, but here's the article, guys. So here's the headline, right, that I just came across. It says, Citadel's Ken Griffin warns against hedge fund clampdown to curb basis trade risk. Founder of $62 billion firm. Now, okay. So I've seen many numbers out there, like, you know, some of them are like, okay, it's like $34 billion, it's like 50, now this one's saying 62, what's the real number, we don't know, at this time, I'll do the research into it, let you guys know for sure, but all I'm saying is like, hey, this number keeps climbing, is it climbing because this dude's like making more money by the day by stealing from us, or like... Are these numbers just wrong? I don't know. Anyhow, let's get into the video. Founder of $62 billion firm hits out at U.S. proposals to treat big players in his industry like broker-dealer arms of banks. Ken Griffin, the founder and chief executive of $62 billion U.S. hedge fund Citadel, 
has warned regulators that they should focus their attention on banks rather than his industry if they want to reduce risks in the financial system stemming from leveraged bets on U.S. government debt. Now, may I again add, okay, I know I've said a little bit about this in the introduction to the video, but may I add, he's basically telling them, like, hey, stop looking at me, stop looking at us, at that's him saying, stop looking at me, look at this right here, like, this is what's causing the problem, it's not us. Global regulators have warned about growing risks emerging from the so-called treasury basis trade, selling treasury futures while buying U.S. government bonds and extracting gains from the small gap between the two using borrowed money. But Griffin said they should focus on the risk management of banks that enable the trade by lending to hedge funds, rather than try to increase regulation of the hedge funds themselves. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I need to exactly explain what the heck I'm reading here. Like, are you guys seeing this as well? Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys like, I know y'all aren't reading it, but are y'all hearing this? I mean, like, this is textbook, like, this guy basically is guilty of whatever the hell, like, you know, we're suspecting him of being guilty of. So he's like, hey, no, they did it. They did it. I'm telling you. Look at them. Not us. Not at me, okay? You know, you'd think that, that you know, SEC would be smart enough to be like, okay, like, this guy, you know, he's interjecting himself into this investigation. Maybe, uh, just like this tiny chance that maybe... He's behind some of the trouble that, like, you know, we're needing to look into. No, they, they'll they never get it, man. And it's not because they don't know or they don't understand or that they don't recognize the red flags. It's simply because, well, they're paying. He's, I'm sorry, I messed up to y'all. He's paying them to look the other way. Despicable, this guy is. What a freaking stand-up guy. This Ken Griffin is.